Hey guys, this is Tarun here. Moving ahead with the LOFs. As I told you, in the LOF, there's this clause of whether the scopic is incorporated or not, which simply implies that only if you have ticked yes on this can a salver has a right to invoke the scopic. So how does a salver get his uh, remuneration? How does he earn his money? First and foremost, the moment he signed an LOF and if he saved the ship and the cargo, he can claim his reward under Article 13. That is the normal way, the main agreement or the no cure, no pay. If he wasn't able to get any claim out of it or if he wasn't able to save the ship or the cargo, but he could prove that there was danger to the environment and he has taken adequate steps to reduce it, then he can claim special compensation. That is Article 14. But mind you, he has to prove that there has been some danger to the environment. But what if there wasn't any danger to the environment? He tried salving the ship, saving the ship, but he wasn't successful. There was no danger to the environment. Then what happens? So this condition put the salver in a lurch. He spent so much money and yet he cannot take any anything back with him. He can't make any money out of it. So that is how people decided to get in the scoping special compensation PNI club clause. So the moment you invoke the scoping, it automatically replaces Article 14. That is, you cannot get special compensation. It can either be scoping or Article 14. So the moment you have invoked scoping, there are two things which is going to happen. Firstly. The owner of the ship has to deposit a security deposit of $3 million. But if you go detailed into the document, this can be negotiated up and down depending on both the parties. Second, whether he's successful or not successful in the operation, he'll definitely be covered off his expenses plus a 25% uplift and a 1% bonus. This 25% uplift is only if you are a member of the ISU, International Salvage Union member. Otherwise, it is just a 10% uplift. But mind you, a salver can only invoke a scopic if he has incorporated it in the LOF, whereas he sticked. He said, yes, I incorporate it. Only then can he invoke the scopic. So once he's done that, the ship owner has two days within which he has to put in the security deposit and he can start his work on saving the ship. Moving on, there have been cases where the salver has invoked the scopic and later found that his compensation was less than the normal Article 13 reward. Then what happens? Or the other way could have happened where the scopic amount is more than the Article 13. Then what happens? So if it happens that the salver has invoked scopic and uh, Article 13 award is much more higher than the scopic, then in that case, the salver has to take a discounted reward, meaning he will get Article 13 minus difference between Article 13 and Scopic by 4. That means 25% of the difference would be detected from the Article 13. So can you tell me why it is done? Yes, this is one of the ways of dissuading the salver from invoking the Scopic. Had he not invoked the Scopic, he would have gone the, the entire Article 13. And the other case, when the scopic is higher than 13, nothing happens, very simple, he just gets his scopic. If you get into the jargons and verbatim of the document, they try to confuse you, they say scopic minus Article 13 minus something. Ultimately, if you do your calculation, you'll find that he'll only earn his scopic. So I want to do a small recap of what we just learned, specific to the compensations and rewards which a salver is entitled. First and foremost, after signing an salvage agreement, a salver is entitled for Article 13 award. If by any chance he is not able to save the ship or the cargo, then he is entitled for special compensation. But here the condition is two. There has to be a threat to the environment and it has to be in coastal waters. And what does Article 14 include? It will include his expenses and if he's managed to save the environment, he can get 30% of the expense, expenses more. So 30 to 100%. So in, in other words, 
it can go from 1.3 to two, two times of what he's actually spent on the operation. And in extreme cases, if he's botched up, if the pollution has increased, nothing would be given to him. That has also to be remembered. But he says, okay, I'm not bothered about this. I, I'm not bothered whether there's threat to the environment or not. In that case, a salver can opt for scopic. So he, if he invokes the scopic, artif article 14 goes away. So article 14 has gone in scopic. There will be a security deposit made by the ship owner and he'll get a 25% uplift. Also takes care of expenses and a 1% interest bonus. Later, we also discussed if the article 13 is higher than scopic, what will happen if article 13 is less than scopic, what happened? So roughly now you've got the idea. Just a look, have a look at the documents, quick look, refer this video again and I hope your concept gets clear. See you soon guys.